the text and font that has been chosen by Square for the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters has generally been universally despised by fans because the rest of the graphical updates are absolutely fantastic in many ways and really retain the style of the original games. But this font is so crisp, it feels out of place and it's so squashed it can be difficult to read for some people. Fortunately, for those of you playing the Pixel Remasters on Steam, there is now a fix you can apply to change the default fonts to one that is far more applicable and consistent with the rest of the game. And why put up with this? When you can have this. SNES font is back in all its glory. Just as we get started then folks, I would ask that you consider subscribing for future Final Fantasy content, and also you can follow me on Twitter now at Fuzzfinger01 for various updates. Okay, so we're going to replace the font, it's very simple to do, and it will affect all areas of the game. It will affect chat dialogue, text box things, it will affect the menus, the battles, even the title screen and loading screens. So it will create just a more consistent look and feel to the game with the pixelated graphics. And what you want to do is head over to this website, I'll drop a link in the description, and download this zip file. Very, very easy. It will take you over to the Google Drive. You want to use this little download icon up here, and that will give you access to the zip file. Okay, that's downloaded. We'll come back to that momentarily. What we're going to do now is head over to our Steam account and to our Final Fantasy VI installation, which is in our game library. Right click on that, head down to Manage, and then select Browse Local Files. This will take us directly to the game's directory without having to navigate there manually. You can do this, I believe, by the way, with any of the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. I'm just using Final Fantasy VI as our example today because it's the only one I own. So, you want to go into Final Fantasy VI Data and the Streaming Assets folder. Now, what we're going to be doing is replacing the font N dot bundle and the font JA dot bundle, there it is, with the new files. So, we're going to back the original ones up first. Just going to create a new folder here and we'll just call that Backup Fonts. So, it's this font N bundle and font J8 bundle. So I'm going to control X whilst they are selected. That will cut them. And then open up the backup folder we made and then control V or right click and select paste. And that will move them into this folder. So if ever we want to go back to those original fonts, we just copy them from this folder and then paste them over the new files we're gonna put in here and that will send them back again. Okay, so going back to our downloads, this is the zip we downloaded. We're going to extract that here. And these are the two replacement files. We're just going to copy those with Control C. Yeah, head back to our Final Fantasy VI folder. And then in the directory with all the fonts, we're just going to paste those in with Control V. And that's it. That is installation done, finished. We can now open the game and get to experience those beautiful SNES fonts look, even at the loading screen. And I think it looks absolutely brilliant. I really do. But what do you guys think? There we go at the title screen. Let's go ahead and load into our game here. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Okay, so if we open the menu, we can see the SNES font now in action. And it's still very crisp. It's definitely got an HD look to it, but of course it retains the original SNES font style. So big thanks to those that put this together for us. I will be using it from this point forward. Will you guys let us know down in the comments what you think of the replacement font here. And don't forget folks, I am currently live streaming Final Fantasy VI on the channel. So if you're around next time, please do come and say hello. That's it for me for today, guys. I'll see you next time.